Hey guys, Poor Owl here, and today I'm going to be talking about the loot I got from 50 runs in both gates of Stratholm. I decided to come back to Stratholm to see what kind of loot I could get in patch 7.3.5, but without further ado, let's talk about the loot that I got. These prices are the current prices on my server, so be sure to check your server if you're interested in farming Stratholm. In my 50 runs, I got 4 rares, which means I was getting a rare every 12 to 13 runs. The rares that I got are Gracious Cape, worth 45,000 gold on my server, Sacred Cloth Leggings, worth 20,000 gold, Bladed Fist of Haku, worth 1,200 gold, and Cheap Shear Mantle, worth 1,000 gold. All in total, these rares are valued at 67,200 gold. A few items I believe that deserve an honorable mention this week are the Imbued Plate Greaves, which I got two of, worth 5,500 gold each, two Ultra Flash Shadow Reflector Schematics, worth 2,700 gold each, and Chromite Chess Piece, worth 2,800 gold. All in total, these items are valued at 19,200 gold. I was getting 7 to 8 greens per run. Multiply these numbers by 50 and that means I got between 350 to 400 greens. I would value these greens at between 175,000 to 190,000 gold. Ludopraiser valued them higher, but Ludopraiser isn't always 100% accurate so I tried to account for that as well. Lastly, I was getting tons of old world math, like 130 Essence of Undeath, which I've already sold for 200 gold each, 80 Shadow Silk, which I've already sold for 220 gold each, a ton of Mage Weave, Silk, and Rune Cloth worth 3,000 gold, and a bunch of random mats like ore, gems, and herbs worth about 3,000 gold. All in total my loot from 50 runs is valued at between 311,000 to 326,000 gold. This means each run is valued at between 6,220 gold to 6,520 gold, which is incredibly good. Both gates take 8 minutes to run. Multiply this by 50 and that means my total farming time was 400 minutes or 6 hours and 40 minutes total. The speedrun guide for both gates will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out if you aren't too familiar with where to go. If you haven't ran Stratholm for gold yet, it's a steady gold farm with tons of valuable transmog, and I highly recommend you give it a go. And for those wondering, the mount did not drop. Alright guys, that's it for now. Next I'll be running Scarlet Halls, so be sure to watch for that video next week. If you want to see these runs live, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash and you can follow me on Twitter at poorall, with zeros instead of o's for things like when I'm going live, future video posts, and stuff like that. Thank you for watching, see you next week.